What's up guys, it is me Sivo. Today I'm going to be telling you how you can use COGS on your Discord.py bot. And it's really simple to do. So without further ado, let's um, get into it. So if you don't know how to set up like this, go down in the description and there'll be a video on how to set up a Discord bot. So yeah, but anyways, let's get into the COG. So what you're going to do is, if you don't know what COG does, what it does, it gets... So you can make multiple files and add commands on the other files. And you can get, you receive the files from the main file, if that makes any sense. But I think it's best if I show you. I'm really bad at explaining. But anyways, let's go. So we're just going to create a new file. We're just going to call it, uh, I don't know, let's just call it um, uh, uh, items. That makes no sense, but I'm just calling it that. You can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Alright, now we're just going to import Discord. So import Discord, and then we're gonna go from Discord, from Discord. Dot etx import commands because we need to import the commands, don't we? Like previous, and um, now we're just gonna set up a class. So we're gonna go class. Uh, let's just call it test. I don't know. Um, you can call it what you want, but and then we're gonna do commands. Dot cog, and then after that we're just gonna put this here. And now we're going to do def underscore in it, and you're going to get all this gibberish, just delete it all up to here. And then inside the brackets, we're just going to put um, bot, because, you know, we need a bot, don't we? Um, but now, once you've done that, you're just going to, underneath is do self dot bot equals bot. Nice and easy. And now we're going to do, first we're going to do an event, and then we're just going to do a normal command. So yeah, so events is different. So you've got to do commands dot cog. Uh, was it dot listener? Uh, yeah, you spoke with another listener. You're just gonna put brackets, and then you're gonna write async def uh, on ready. I'm just gonna do this kind of uh, event. You can do any event you want. It's up to you. And then you're just gonna put the little colon thingy bitchies, and then you gotta wait self dot bot dot uh change oh come on please tell me I can spell P R E S E N C right yep and then activity equals discord dot game and then we're just gonna have it say I don't know I'm online we're also going to print I'm online so we can see it in the console let me clear all this because yeah we don't really want to see that there it is go is online. There we go. Just so we know. Alright, so that's how you do the thingy. Now we need to go and get this over to here. It's really simple. It's like really simple. Um so it's all you have to do is write bot dot add underscore cog and then the name of the the name of the class, which is test. So we write test and then you're gonna do brackets again and then you're just gonna write bot. Simple as that. And now it should automatically put it up here. If it doesn't, you're going to write from uh, whatever the file is over here you want it to get from. And then you're going to do import. And you're going to import whatever the class is named. So as test. So from items over here, import test. And it imports the class, as you can see. And then the bot that I call just adds the thing. So now if we play it, make sure you always play it in the main, the main file or file. And you're just going to click play. And it should say is online, shouldn't give us, there we go. And now if we get open Discord and we go over, as you see here, it says playing the game is I'm online. I'm online, see? Now we're going to do a command. This is even easier. So um, all you're going to have to do is just write at uh, commands, uh, commands dot command. And then you got the brackets. And then you're going to write async def. And we'll just do a ping. You can do any commands you want. You can even copy and paste other parts to put them on. But you will have to put um, you will have to put this one back to show you. You are, you're gonna have to put self and obviously you're gonna have to put CTX, no no for the context. And then once you do that, you could just do away, do away CTX dot send and then you could do pong. Did you see there? Now if we save this, go into our main, play it, we'll open uh, that should load. We can open Discord, and now if we write, let's say ping, it's gonna say pong as you do there, or you can make it as a reply. 
So yeah, see how neat this is? Look, we're in the main, we've only got this, this is all you need, and boom. You don't have to do any of that crappy... I've seen tutorials where they write loads of crap down here, and it just it's just like, it's like six lines long. You can literally just do this, and it's so easy. Like, it is the most easiest way to add cogs, in my opinion. So yeah, you can just have like loads of lines of just bot.addcog. So yeah, instead of like fucking five lines for one cog. It's it's, it's 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 disgusting, but yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Sorry if I don't upload as much. I just get really busy. You can see my main channel though. Make sure you check out my main channel. It's where I upload games and I do funny stuff and shit. And I want to make it grow, so <laughs> please check it out. <laughs>